pharmacy touches clients and, and patients uh, every day. But if you throw in their challenges like only being able to travel to your hometown by boat or your medication will only come in if the fog has lifted, that's a whole other um, way of applying the pharmacy role. We work as an interprofessional team as we provide services to First Nations people in the, in the province. Cindy has come to the table to partner with us. Nurses see activities differently than pharmacists do, and so by bringing the two perspectives together, it's only going to improve care for clients. Cindy, throughout her career, she's been able to better position the health of First Nations in a very uh, safe way. Community members really appreciate it, and it shows. I'm so glad I went this route because everyone involved, uh, whether it be within our FNHA organization or in the community setting, it's amazing the work that can be done when everyone works together. Our transition of the, the pharmacy plan into what's called Plan W with BC Pharmacare was monumental for the First Nations Health Authority. That work could not have been done without Cindy's leadership. It really is about bringing services for BC First Nations to BC First Nations and letting BC First Nations drive what the benefit programs, the drug benefit programs are going to look like. She is a fighter and she was really with the understanding that it's going to actually impact real lives. 140,000 plus First Nations in British Columbia and myself included in that. The role that Cindy has played in our work as somebody who lives and breathes the philosophies of reconciliation, uh, lives and breathes uh, hearing other people's truths. She, in that way, has just been an exceptional uh, healthcare provider uh, to our people and uh, an exceptional person.